Hi, Carol. I can't hear you. You're on mute. There you are. Now I'm now you can hear me. Now I can hear you. How are you? Okay, good. good. <laughs> it may just be you and me tonight. I don't no I know. Here. I know. Jen, I talked to Jen today and she's still not feeling real good. So yeah, that's what she said. Um, yeah. she texted me and let me know. I hate that she's feeling so sick. That's no yeah. good. Well, you know, big family, and <laughs> you know more than anybody, right? That yeah. when you get sick, it just goes through the whole family. So <laughs> it does. Yeah, it does. Very quickly, actually. At Christmas, all of us were passing something around. Yeah. It was terrible. So I was glad she stayed home. <laughs> yeah, so yes, I, we don't need her sharing. Uh -oh. no, <laughs> Definitely I got too much going on. <laughs> not. Yeah. Well, so. um, gosh, I was hoping I was hoping we'd get a couple at least. Yeah, well, we could wait a little bit longer. Yeah. Things going okay in the class? Yeah, pretty good. You know, uh, still a big class and <laughs> at times it, yeah, it's yeah. hard. We It does take two of us to do it. And that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. Would it help to have a third adult or do you think it would just be better to have a smaller class? I think just a smaller class. Smaller class. Well, well you that's know, the plan for next year. We're not going to let them get that big next year because uh, I didn't have the space to do it um, this year. But with the um, sanctuary opening up and mm -hmm. the space that we're currently worshiping in will be open. And so part of the reason we don't have space to grow on Sunday mornings is because our family faith formation uses those the other program I run. Yes. Um, it uses those other rooms. Yeah. And so um, we're hoping to move the family faith formation over into the main worship space uh -huh. so that yeah. I can have more classrooms for the K through five classroom yeah. formation. So that's the plan. We shall see what people sign up for. That's kind of how it, yeah, whatever it lands on is, you know, mm -hmm. when people, I'll, I'll create a waiting list for each section and then, um, we'll, we'll deal with the, the overflow as we yes. need to. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully next year we won't get up that high. My goal is always to keep the kindergarten and the first grades at 16 max. And y'all are way over 16. I just, yeah. I didn't have anywhere else to put them. It was just, they were coming out of the woodwork. Yeah. And, and I thought we would lose more, but we've only really lost like one. Oh, really? Yeah. Because at, right before Christmas, we maybe had 10, 12. And then um, right after the first of the year, all of a sudden these kids were coming that hadn't been there for weeks. Oh, wow. <laughs> and well, so that's a good thing. Usually they don't yeah. come back. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, okay, I guess we've only really officially lost one. So yeah. Wow. But, uh, wow. Yeah. I hadn't, I, I looked at attendance last week, but I wasn't looking for the patterns. I was only looking yeah. for perfect attendance. So I was really flying through looking for yeah. just the kids who would come every single time. Yeah. Um, I, I do need to go back and look at some patterns and see for planning for next year, you know, but definitely I knew y'all had a big class and I'm sorry mm -hmm. for that. That makes yeah. it hard. It really yeah. does. Well, because you have some wonderful kids and you have some Challenges. ones that are a little bit that need a lot more attention or they draw more attention to themselves mm -hmm. and it makes it hard. I just yeah. want to encourage you sometimes just pulling one of those ones out and having yeah. me come talk to them kind of puts everybody back in a frame of mind where they're supposed yeah. to be. Yeah. So just, I mean, we were having a lot of trouble with Catherine there and the last couple of weeks she's been pretty good. So oh, good. I'm so <laughs> I glad know. to hear that. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't That's know. good. Yeah. But we have one little boy and I love him. He's such, he's a, he's, he's a nice kid. It's just that he's a little disruptive in the classroom, yeah. you know, but yeah, you know, I don't know, you know, they're, they're kids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you well, can also, you know, ask the parent to talk to them and say, Hey, you know, please help your child. know it's just an hour. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're, it's not fair to the other kids. You know, we only have an hour a week. It's really challenging. Yeah. 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 That's, you so, know, he's got good weeks and he's got bad weeks. And I guess right. that's the way they all are. Yeah. Right. Oh, by so. the way, I am recording this so I can send mm -hmm. it out to um, 
the people who are missing, which is most everyone. And, <laughs> and so uh, I just want to make sure they're getting the information. They can skim through it and see, you know, what, mm-hmm. we're, what we're talking about. But right. yeah, but everything else going okay. I really, I want to spend some time listening to what's going on so that mm-hmm. I, I have a touch of what, what's happening. Um, if you're being able to connect to the parents at all or, or, um, I don't know. We really don't do anything with the parents. I mean, you know, we send stuff home with the parents, you know, for the parents to do with them and Mm -hmm. don't ever see anything come back from the parents. And I don't know. I have y'all asked for stuff to come back. That's not coming back. No, I, and we send homework home Mm -hmm. and, you know, you would think that maybe they'd send it home. I sent home a thing for Lent uh, Sunday, and mm-hmm. I asked, I, I typed up instructions for the parents. I asked them to have the kids put something down every day during Lent that they're either giving up or they're doing charity work or they're giving food, they're doing alms, they're doing something, you right. know, and I explained yeah. how each category should work. So I'll be interested to see if any of them do any of it. So, yeah. But, and, you know. and are y'all sending emails out from your personal emails to the no. parents? Okay. No. Yeah. No. It might be helpful to use our flock note system and connect with those parents um, mm-hmm. just to send them a short. It doesn't have to be long, you know, just something to say, hey. We sent this home, you know, Lent is coming. We, you know, we're trying to, would you talk with your child about this or something yeah. like that? Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, flock nuts not too hard to use. Are you familiar with it at all? Yeah. I mean, I looked at it when we first got it, you know, yeah. and, and all it was just because it was my first year, I was kind of leaving it to Jennifer to try yeah. to do it. And I don't think she's got time to do it either. Okay. So I don't know, yeah. but Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I don't think any of the first grade or, uh, classes are doing it. So don't mm-hmm. feel like you're the only one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah I kind of heard the that. classes um, are, are sending things out and it would, mm-hmm. it's just a good way to connect with the parents and try to get it into the home as much as we can. Yeah. I mean, when Jennifer had a parent ask a question, she would Talk, you know, send him a note. So yeah, um, eventually. So she's using something. I don't know if it's flock notes or if she's just sending an email that she gets or what. But. I think just a personal email because mm-hmm. um, I looked on the flock note tonight and I didn't see any notes at all yeah. that, unless I sent them. And so, mm-hmm. um, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to encourage everybody to use that f- um, flock note system because uh, it's a good way for me to be aware of what's happening Mm-hmm. in between home and, and catechist formation and all the other stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, so also Carol, do you use the Trello at all? Yes. I use Trello a lot. Okay. Well, yeah. you may have noticed a little weirdness in the Trello boards in that the sessions. So what happened with this curriculum? I'm sure Jennifer told you, we got a session edition one and then recently got an edition two. And I apologize. I had not updated that. And, and so, Mm -hmm. but today I spent time updating all of the, um, and I'm just going to share my screen real quick. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm going to, I'm I'm looking, but I've got the wrong thing open. Let's see. Here's first grade. Okay. So I'm just going to show you real quick. So Mm -hmm. what I did is I went, y'all's next session is 20 or something. Yeah. No, it's 15. Okay. So 15 is going to be your next session. Mm -hmm. And so from 15 on all the way to the right, Mm -hmm. it's got the right name and the right things. Okay. Okay. So before that, it's all messed up still, but oh, yes. I'm going to go back and try to redo that. It's finding the time. It took me a long time to do this today, but, um, cause I had to do kindergarten and first grade, but mm-hmm. what I've done is I've added in some things for y'all to think about adding in and my own opinion on, <laughs> you see that little card yeah, right there. Right. right. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, so my, I get you. my little opinion is there as well. <laughs> uh-huh. 
Yeah, I would read the book and, you know, and then go, read option one and two and three and think, okay, I don't want to do that option. Yeah. We're going to do right. this one. Yeah, and and right. option three is good. Use one. this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So. And, and tying and ideas, just whatever was coming into my head, basically, because I'm an extrovert. <laughs> so, yeah. um, you know, tie Lent to our striving to be more like Adam and Eve before the fall, you know, to be perfect. Right. And um, right. there's this jelly bean prayer there, but I've got lots of Lenten um, activities that I'm going to put in the mm -hmm. workroom and um, that I'll have available for y'all. And you can peruse those. Okay. I'm going to get those out this week, I hope, okay. um, by Wednesday, so y'all can look ahead. Mm -hmm. after, after yeah, Wednesday. I need anyway. one for my next class because I actually, the one I had was for Adam and Eve and we've already did the Adam and Eve one because we didn't oh. have one, you know, when we didn't have, a, they were missing those three lessons. Mm. We went and found yeah. an, a lesson and we picked this Adam and Eve one. So now I've got to kind of go through them and figure out one I'm going to do. Um, oh, okay. Okay. But we'll, we'll, I'll figure it out. But yeah, right, well, I, I have some other cards out like here them. and other ideas, and I definitely have lent things, and I'll try to have mm -hmm. those out Wednesday for you to look at in okay. person if you have that mm -hmm. kind of time. But I did um, write in some thoughts. I added in, and I wanted to show you one of the things I did is this um, flannel board. I, okay, we have this system, and it is an amazing okay. system. Okay, but okay. you have to tell me ahead of time. Right. So you need to pull the pieces because of the way okay. it's the way it is. It's just it would take you too long because <laughs> it's okay. so confusing. But okay. like I went ahead and told you here, use story 147, remembering Jesus, the Last Supper. And you should have a flannel board on your wall in your room that you would just gather the children on the rug by the flannel board and you can act it out right there on the wall. But okay. we also have some uh stand up try stand -up ones flannel piece things that you could use as well if you wanted to make it higher on the table or something yeah and then we yeah. have another resource that I just um I'm getting put together it's called a Jesse box I don't know yes, if you've now I did the it. Jesse box you know oh yeah Jessie. that's right you and I've talked about mm -hmm. the Jesse box yeah, yeah. so all I the pieces the, are uh... cut out for all the stories now yeah okay and, good and um I have them in boxes for you to pick them up. So you're familiar, okay. but no one else is. So I'm gonna show on the recording real quick. Okay. These are Jesse boxes. Mm -hmm. It comes with these dowels like this of different sizes, along with um some wooden animals and mm -hmm. here's like a little sheep. And then it you each set is a different story and you slide the characters onto the dowels and you can act out the stories. Mm -hmm. Now for kin for first grade. In kindergarten, I wouldn't necessarily use all the pieces. I would use some of the pieces because it gets a little bit, um, it's made out of paper. And so, and it gets a little bit, uh, you know, the kids would tear this up really fast. Mm -hmm. So we could let the kids play with this part. Ooh, maybe not because it slides right out. Play with this <laughs> part. But, um, and then it's got beautiful uh, backgrounds and mm -hmm. a diorama holder that you put the, the backgrounds on. And mm -hmm. so, although I found out today when I was studying this to be able to present it to y'all that um, what I have is called the family diorama set and it's smaller than the large diorama that holds all the pieces and has multiple levels. It's really nice. And of course that's not available anymore. So <laughs> we'll have to figure it out anyway, mm -hmm. but it's a really cool set and, you know, first graders can use can really learn a lot from acting mm -hmm. out the story, whether with the um, flannel board or we have puppets or with this little peg set. We also have peg dolls that are for the resurrection story, the crucifixion and the resurrection. We have peg dolls okay. painted okay. and ready to act that out. And they can definitely play with those. They're not made out of paper. Um, mm -hmm. They're painted on. So they're really cool. And then we also have, um, what other set do we have? I can't remember right now. I think it's the nativity, but just anything you can get to have them acting it out and doing it. Mm -hmm. Also, um, here's a last supper activity to go with that one. Anyway, mm -hmm. I went through and I made it right all the way to the end. Good. <laughs> and um, you can read through that. And I put, try to put in videos and, and books where I saw the need or connection. It's not extensive. I didn't do as good of a job as I usually do, but 
um, it at least gets us started and y'all can right. add to it. Um, mm -hmm. Like right here, uh, we have formed, uh, you may be aware that we have a subscription to formed. Okay. Are you familiar with that? No. Uh -uh. So formed, you can actually get it at home too. It's a, it's a Catholic streaming service and um, our parish has generously bought the subscription for our whole parish to be able okay. to use. And okay. you just go create an account and it'll ask you if you're hooking into an institutional subscription and all you need is our zip code, which is 76226. And, um, and you'll, you can get onto formed. It's a okay. really cool, uh, in fact, I can show it to you. Let me, okay. So, um, it's on demand Catholic movies, but um, up here, I'm in. Oh, of course, it's not going to remember me on this computer. Darn it. Hold on. Oh, now my dog's calling, crying to go outside. Darn it. <laughs> My cat stuck in, and so you see my cat run across. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> me. This is my home one, so okay. And we can get um. Well, it's not working. It's going to make me use a link and everything. Anyway, it's a really good thing. It's got little kid videos on it that are like 10 minute long or three minute segments. Mm -hmm. And you can find there's a kid section and you can usually find one that matches either a saint that, that, you know, illustrates what you're teaching or just something cute, you know? And, um, so that's a really good, uh, like right here, I have brother Francis, you are special mm -hmm. and on this one that's God still loves us. Cause the whole idea is that we're still special and we're made for a purpose mm -hmm. um, that we're special anyway. Okay. So I'm glad you're using the Trello. I'm glad you find that uh, yeah. a good resource, but I have mm -hmm. finally updated at least the last half of first grade. Um, yeah. Yeah. and so, <laughs> all right. And then I did want to, um, just point out on our calendar that we, March is really sparse meetings. <laughs> so yeah. we have, we have uh, of course, this week is, it says session 14 types of prayer. I didn't do that one on Trello. I just realized. Mm -hmm. I, I did that one last week. So. Okay. I started with 15. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so then we have stations of the cross coming up. You right. Know, uh -huh. You're, are you familiar with what we do? It's kind of no. like a rosary. Mm -mm. It's, it's just like the rosary night when we went okay. outside, when we went so outside. Teach for the first half. And then for the second half, mm -hmm. you'll go out and we're going to have them set up in the lawn and the fifth graders lead us and, and lead the prayers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have two weeks off for spring break because of the, um, Actually, I think, hold on. I've got the wrong calendar up because you're Wednesday, right? No, you're Sunday. No, well, I'm Sunday. Yeah, well, you're, you're Sunday. Right. Uh, never mind. Yeah. Back, yeah. Back, 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 back. It's like, you get yeah. two yeah, Sundays right. off. <laughs> yeah. And then um, I think Wednesday only gets one Wednesday off. Oh, okay. Maybe. And then, uh, and then we have one session stuck here in the middle, Palm Sunday, and then we have off for Easter. But then when we get a right. good, nice, long we right. get two, the and then end, there's a break here. I don't know. Remember last fall it's, when we did the mass and we did the right. workshop that we went mm -hmm. station to station. We're going to do that again. We're going to focus on being an Easter people, celebrating our new sanctuary full of joy. What does it mean to be a joyful Catholic? And, and how do we keep holy the Sabbath? And so we're going to focus on that. Okay. Anyway, and so I have... Uh, those I did make a change in the first grade calendar. Um, this who is the Holy Spirit and uh session 30 on okay. Trello. I think I made it clear. Let me go back and share this again. Share so many clicks. Okay, I have yes. I think I changed it to here. Six. 
we worship as a community? 24, yeah. I think I changed it to 24. Okay. Changed. Because of the new sanctuary. Okay. I was like, that would be nice to talk about our new sanctuary, yes. and how we worship and how it's organized. And we can focus on the new. Um, it, it's beautiful because it talks about our natural family and what kinds of things we do with our natural family and then our church family. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, you know, we've gotten a new house. And yeah. how do you feel when you move into a new house? Everything's new and different and it takes time to get used to it. And mm -hmm. So anyway, we really want to focus on that. Okay. I'll probably send out some ideas of things to also say. One of the things I really want to focus on is teaching the kids to be silent in our new church because mm -hmm. it's not a um, multi-purpose space anymore. It's a holy place. Mm -hmm. And then also to genuflect when they come in because the tabernacle will be there. And so just some, some little tiny things that we're all as a parish going to have to adjust to that, that mm -hmm. are going to be different in our new sanctuary. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably send something out about that. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else did I have on my list to talk about? Oh, um, next year. I really was just looking at pe for people who are like, no, I, I definitely am not going to be doing this next year. Um, you know, I'm not asking for a commitment right now, mm -hmm. but just, I know some people are already saying, you know, no, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do this next year. It's too much for me. How are you feeling about next year? Um, well, I'm thinking about doing it again next year. Um, okay. and I'm thinking maybe staying in first grade and letting Chris go on without me because second grade is going to be a lot more involved. I don't know. I have to think more about which one I okay. want to do. I mean, I feel like I, I've learned a lot this year in first grade and I, I know what to do now. I, I would know what to teach next year. I've yeah. got a lot of things saved and, you know, yeah, that's easier. very helpful when you keep going in year after year. Yeah. yeah. But it's also yeah. fun to travel with the kids because you get to see them grow and they get yeah. to know you in it builds that yeah. trust. So either way is good. However yeah. you want to do it. That's great. I'm and then glad I you're considering a, staying. Yeah. And then I got a four-year-old who will be coming up, you know, too. So I mean, you yeah. know, we'll try to stay around for him too. So yeah, absolutely. But, um, I don't what know. But yeah, are, you are I'll as think, a grandma. That's awesome. Yeah. I'll think about what I, which one I would like to teach in the summer. So I'll okay. let you know, but Sounds I'm kind of thinking, yeah. So, and one thing, I will not be here for the last session. Um, oh, okay. What is that? May 5th or something. Um, yeah. We go to Hilton Head every year. <laughs> it's our week okay. to go. So okay. I won't be there for that very last session, but I'll be here for the rest right. of them. So just well, to let could, you could I ask know. you a favor? Could you send me an email with that? Sure. Uh-huh. I That'd will. Be great. Because... I'm not going to remember and no, <laughs> I don't have the right place to write it down right now in front of me. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, that's okay. fine. I can do that. Well, also for next it. year, um, I'm looking at making um, a couple of changes. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to keep the same curriculum, but what yeah. I'm looking at is I need it. I need it to be less sessions because I'm doing some other things that I'd like to add in. One of the things that we're seeing in our teenagers is a lack of understanding of what John Paul II taught as the theology of the body, that mm -hmm. um, we we are a gift and that we are, make gift we make ourselves a gift to other people in relationship, and um, so and it, it with all that is the gender ideology and everything. So we want to. Uh, add, I've been researching. Uh, theology of the body curriculums to add in to our current curriculum. And so, as you know, we're already trying to fit a lot in. <laughs> so I, yeah. it feels, it feels very squished, but I know, you know, you're teaching the lessons and you know, when you come across a lesson, you're like, oh, that one could have put, been put with this one and, yes. and this mm -hmm. one's lame and we don't, we shouldn't be doing this when it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's not meaningful. I'm yeah. looking for feedback from y'all on what, what, what that is like, which lessons could be put together and which mm -hmm. ones could be skipped because they're lame or, you know, that yeah. kind of stuff. I'm mm -hmm. looking for that because um, the, the theology, the body materials I'm doing have like four or five lessons. So we're going to have to take some of, and, and we're looking at different ways to do that. One of the ways we're going to do that is say that we're going to start faith formation with a whole family conference and we'll do it the first part there. And then we'll 
do some in the classroom. Um, and then there's another thing I want to add in, and I may only be able to add it in once. Um, I was hoping for once each semester, but I may only get to do it once. I'm going to have each grade level come over to the adoration chapel, and we're going to do a guided adoration lesson with them and their parents um, just to help them with the true presence and what is adoration and how do we adore Jesus in the Eucharist. And mm -hmm. so what that will involve is kind of like the stations of the cross and the rosary where you'll have them half of the time and then they'll be in this other thing half the time. And mm -hmm. so it, and it will probably be is the guided adoration part will be first and then y'all okay. will take them back to the classroom and do some things with them related mm -hmm. to that. So that's what I'm looking at doing next year is two, mm -hmm. two things, putting in more theology of the body lessons. And I'm, I'm going to be, only taking out of the Sophia what I think the Tobit puts in, what the, the theology of the body puts in. So mm -hmm. I'm going to match that up as best I can. But I could use yeah. your help. If you mm -hmm. see any lessons that can be combined or can just be taken out, let me know. And yeah. um, that would be a very big help. Yeah. The last two that we taught, which was on prayer, types of prayers and stuff, It a lot of it was just repeating a little bit. And I think those two could have been together. Even Jennifer said the same thing, you know, that we could have. Those yeah, that's the kind of thing together. I need. That would be perfect. Mm -hmm. If y'all could just shoot me a little email, let me know mm -hmm. about those kinds of things. Cause that is going to help me a lot while I'm planning. And I'm, I'm already starting to plan those calendars. I've already got the mm -hmm. calendar set for next year. I'm already starting to put the lessons together, decide things. So um, any help you can give right now, that, that would be really great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. And I think the, uh, those two were the only ones that we really kind of thought were kind of the same. Yeah. I think there were okay. two or three, but it, it, we'll talk about it. I Jennifer and I can talk about it a little bit and see if we can come up with that and send it to you. Okay. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have anything else. I don't think I'm looking, um, I'm just writing down notes. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Okay. I think that's it for me. Okay. Do you have anything else to share or anything else that's concerning or an issue? No, no. Most okay. time it goes pretty good, you know. <laughs> yeah. well, good. I'm glad to hear that. A little hairy, but it's, you know. Yeah. It's <laughs> Again, don't hesitate to call me and I will yeah. come get them. And that kind of scares most of them into behaving. <laughs> I mean, yeah, hopefully. I don't, I'm not just, mean, but they yeah. don't know that. <laughs> yeah. They just get a I little, it's some of them, just that's their, their mannerism, I guess, in some ways. Right. Guess, so. Well, it doesn't help that yeah. Father feeds them cake every week. Well, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know, that's one thing. I don't like when they bring the food and the drinks into the classroom because it never fails. They spill their drinks. Yeah. And then Actually, usually I, I ask the parents not to. So are you having that as a problem? Because usually oh, I've yeah. had to tell them in the past, please don't bring your child with their food, finish their mm -hmm. food, and then they may come to class because we're right. having issues. Okay. Right. Well, again, oh, yeah. that's another great way for you to send an email out through Flock Note, but I will also mm -hmm. address that. I also need to address parents walking them and picking them up at the door. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, because they want to go right away and it's like, no, you got to wait, you got to wait, you got to wait, yeah. you know. I've and, had you know, it's, older brothers and case. sisters come and I say, no, right. you got to have the parent. So, yeah. You know. I know it's a hard thing because they're de battling that parking lot out there and mm, I'm hoping yeah. that we get some relief when the new parking lots are open. Yes. But we're also going to increase in people. So I just don't know, you know, yeah. oh, it's just so hairy right now. A lot of un unknowns now. Yeah, exactly. Changing. Exactly. But yeah. I can, I can keep hammering at it. You know, it's, mm -hmm. everybody thinks it's a, you know, a silly thing for me to have them walk them to the door, but until that first child gets lost, That's you right. know, or gets hurt because they're not where they're supposed to be. Right. Or they run out in the parking lot and somebody get, hits them with a car because right. they're just going to their parent. No. Yeah. Their and parent I'm, needs to I'm li them. we're liable for that as a church. And I, that's yeah. my responsibility. I have to, I have to enforce yeah. those rules. I don't like it, but I have to yeah. do it. Yeah. So. We haven't had too much trouble with that, but we've had problems with the eating and the drinking in the yeah. classroom. Okay. And, 
Well, I'll make sure and send something out to those Sunday morning mm -hmm. parents and let them know that they need to. Yeah. The other the other sessions don't have this issue, but um, well, actually Sunday evening does because Father still serves cakes sometimes Sunday evenings. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's more bringing the drinks in. This food's not quite such an issue, but yeah. the drinks, honestly, every time they'll spill lemonade it. everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> yeah, oh, goodness. So. But and then we and we want to try to clean it up so it's not all sticky underneath, you know. So. Exactly. Yeah. No fun. Yeah. Well, thank it. you, Carol, for your time. And I apologize yeah. that it was just you. I'm sorry that the others weren't able to make it. Yeah. But hopefully yeah. that's okay. Well, You're gonna send it out and they'll hopefully they'll watch it and give you some yeah, more feedback. At least skim too, over so. it and catch the highlights. So. Yes. Yeah. And Jennifer and I'll talk about some of these lessons when we Perfect. have a little time and see if we can send something to you about that. Okay. Okay. That's awesome. Thanks. You Perfect. have a blessed rest of your week. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.